Good afternoon and welcome to another one of our videos um, showcasing an installation that we've just completed. So um, all our installs are special but this one's extra special. So here we've got a BMW Grand Coupe, M Grand Coupe and um, customer want a full HD audio system. Um, so that's what we've done. But we've done a few extra bits to it as well because um, there's some physical limitations with a BMW which I'm going to explain when I get inside it. So I'm just going to quickly take you around and show you the amplifier install. So we've gone for the Audison 5.1 HD amplifier and um, didn't want any sort of boot build or anything taking up room in the boot so we've actually got it up and underneath the shelf there so it's super neat. Um, we've rev nutted the MDF baffle underneath the shelf and then we've T-nutted the amplifier to the MDF panel so it's extremely solid um, you could probably pick the car up by it if that was possible. Um, we've also fan cooled it so we've got a fan in the back corner there and another fan across the other corner so they're automatic but we've also installed an override switch so not necessary to have them on so you can have them switched off or you can have them on if the weather's really warm and you're worried about the amp cutting out um, we've done hertz melee legends up front a three-way set not a two-way set a three-way set i'll show you that in a second i was going to try and show you underneath the amplifier here so you can see how tidy the crossovers are so they had a crossover between the mid and tweets um, which sit up there oh, they won't fit in the front doors obviously and what you can't see is the Audison Bit 1 HD and the Audison DMI which sit just down there. Um, underneath here we've got a couple of extra little bits. This is just an update lead for the DMI should customer ever need to access it. And then you've got the DMI bypass for servicing. Everything's labelled up nicely. So you would never normally need to get to those but they're tucked away in there just in case. So let's go around to the front of the car now. I'll just give you a quick glimpse of what we've done in the front door, mainly because, um, and again, I'll explain this in a little bit more detail in a second. In an ideal world, when you've got an eight-inch woofer under a seat and a four-inch tweeter and a four-inch mid-range in a door, you've got a crossover point of about 150 hertz. Now, if you're a true audiophile, you know that 150 hertz becomes quite directional. So, in other words, when you're sitting in a driver's seat, you are aware that there's mid-bass coming from underneath the seat. Now, we get our systems to sound pretty damn good, um, like a lot of people do. But if you're really into it, physics uh, play a big part and, and you know that you are getting some mid-bass notes from under the seat. So the way to get around that is get the mid-bass from the front doors. But of course, with a four-inch speaker, won't drop below 150, maybe 130 hertz. It's so inefficient at that frequency. You know, it's probably six dBs down anyway. So you're losing a little bit. So the answer is get a mid-bass in the door. So that's what we've done. So we've done this... Uh, Rather funky build down the bottom here, and we've managed to get a Hertz Melee Legend three-way component set. So you've got the six and a half, the three-inch, and the tweeter all in the door. So the mid base is, really is up front in this car. The camera doesn't really do the panel justice. It looks cooler than the OEM panel. So let's jump inside and get rid of all the wind and uh, tell you a little bit about it. So there you go. You can see the other side. So we love the Melee Legends, and if we could put them in every BMW, we would. But uh, due to the cost and the practicality, the time it takes to build that panel. So we've enclosed that speaker down the bottom there, um, which is a huge amount of work. It's taken probably just over four days to create those builds um, with the grill flushed in there. So we've had to take a grill from a different manufacturer, replenish it so it's the right shape, debadge it to get it to sit in there like that. It's quite a bit of work. There's obviously a huge amount of soundproofing done in the door. So I've seen a few people put um, Melee mids and Voce mids in the doors, which is a three inch mid, and pair it up with eight inch under seat woofers now. That's all well and good because, you know, Voce's and Melee's fantastic speakers, but you can't pair a three inch mid with an eight inch under seat woofer because the three inch mid won't play below 300 hertz. So that means you've either got to run your woofer up to 300 hertz or you roll it off at 150 and you've got a massive gap in the middle. I suspect the latter in most cases. So that's why we've introduced a six inch woofer. So the 5.1, the mono part of it runs the um, Audison eight inch under seat subwoofers. Then you've got two channels to run the mid bass units. And then you've got the last two channels, the fine channels to run passively the three inch melee mid and tweeter. Um, sound in this car is just beyond what I can explain. Um, I'd say it's probably the best front end I've ever heard in a car, certainly the best front end I've ever installed in a car. 
and set up. I'm not saying nobody's done anything better, they may have done, but this is the best one I've heard. Um, the mid bass really is cracking, it's right in front of you, so it doesn't feel like it's coming from underneath the seats. So because we've introduced those, it enables to roll off the under seat subs, actually about between 60 and 70 hertz, 70 hertz I think we've rolled them off at. 60 actually, so we bring the mid bass in at 60. So you've only got really low, deep, non-directional bass coming from under the seats. I can't emphasize how much difference that makes because the mid bass really is in front of you. We're then able to time align the two drivers. So when you sit in a driver's position, this thing just kicks you. Unbelievable. So there you go, full DA system, optical all the way through, Audison DMI, bit one HD, Audison 5.1K or 5.1 HD amplifier. Hertz Mule Legends up front. Audison under seat subwoofers. The best front end I've ever heard. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, you might want to give us a follow or subscribe to our YouTube channel because we did post quite a bit of stuff like this, especially if you're into your BMWs. Uh, if you want to follow us on Instagram, you'll see the installs we do on a daily basis. I hope you've enjoyed this short and hopefully informative video.